Hello, I'm Miss Angela from the East Regional Library. I am a children's programmer and this is this week's programs to go. We are going to be making a hex bug maze. What is a hex bug you might ask? If you haven't seen one before, it's this little dude. Every single bag that you pick up is going to have a hex bug. He's kind of cool. He has a little switch. You turn him on and he kind of bounces around a little bit. So we're going to be making a maze that he's going to try to make his way through. He's kind of going to hit and bounce around. So every bag is going to have a hex bug, four pieces of cardstock, straws, and tape. Now at home, you are going to need a pair of scissors because we will be able to kind of make different shapes and sizes if we have the scissors to cut up some of the straws. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to lay out two of your pieces of paper or cardstock. You're going to get your tape. I'm kind of going to make a couple of longer pieces, but you're going to stick it long ways along the seam of the paper. If you can kind of see, it folds like that. I'm going to do that two times to try to make it as stable as possible. Then you're going to slide that one up to the top. If you think it needs a little bit more tape, you can use that because every bag is going to come with a little uh, roll of tape. We're going to do the same thing with the second two pieces of paper. Alright, then you're going to line those two pieces that have been taped together up. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to tape the seams of those papers. Kind of try to do um, where all four of the pieces of cardstock meet. And I'm going to do a little bit extra on these. Now, one tip that I'm going to be able to give you is, if possible, when you're making your maze, I'm going to do my best to try to hit the areas um, that have the seam with a long piece of straw. That way they kind of hold together. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Get pieces of tape going just to kind of make it as stable as possible. I wonder how good our hex bugs are going to be at finding their way out of our maze. You can make your maze as easy or as difficult as you want. That's the fun. You get to use your imagination. And if you want, you could always use a piece of paper and draw up um, some ideas of how you might want to lay out your straws before you start. I'm just kind of going to wing it for this one. So the first thing we need to remember is your maze is going to need an entrance for your bug so he can find his way in. So one of the things that you can do is we got the bendy straws. So you can use those to make corners. And I'm going to use that to make my entrance. I'm gonna leave a gap. I'm gonna make sure I leave enough tape that it secures the straw. I'm gonna probably do two along the long parts and one along the small part. You can use as much tape as you think you need to make it secure. So this is going to be the part that I think makes it the entrance. Let's see, we'll do a different color like this one. And if you want, you can kind of make the edges of your, I'm going to bend this one and I'm going to put it um, parallel to, no, perpendicular to the one that I just placed. Sorry. We are going to tape that one down. You want to kind of leave, I put, tried to put my thumb because you want the bug to have enough space 
to get through the maze and be able to like make the corners and things like that. So I'm gonna tape this straw down. So you see how I have the little gap? That's gonna be his entrance. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do one long straw to make the edge of the maze. And that way we can kind of see that part too. Yeah, just make sure that when you tape over the tape, you have enough tape on each side that it's going to keep the straw stuck down. You don't need to use tons of tape, but it does need a little bit more of a piece, like probably about this long if you can see it. All right, so now I have the edge of my maze. So now we can kind of look and see how it's going to work. We can use our scissors and you can cut up pieces of straw. Be careful that you're not like pointing at anybody's eyes because <laughs> they are very, very light. So they tend to fly. All right, so I have a couple of pieces. I'm gonna stretch out my bin and I'm going to use it to make a turn where my hex bug is going to have to turn when he goes when he starts out in the maze. So you're going to kind of make an edge where he can go through. And remember, you also when you're at the end of your maze, you're going to have to make sure to make an end so that your bug is able to find his way out. If you don't have an end, he doesn't know where, the, where he can get out. You can also put the pieces that you cut kind of like this, so he's gonna have to hop around. He's gonna come around his curve. He's gonna have to hop over there to make a round. Now this looks like if you wanna take a lot of time to create, you can take as much time as you want. So Miss Angela is going to need a few minutes. So we're going to use some library magic to speed this up. All right, our magic is all done. And this is what my maze finished looking like. So we have our entrance and our exit where our hex bug can go in and out. We have the edges around, so he kind of can't escape the paper. And we are going to go ahead and see what he does when we put him in the maze. All right, let's take a closer look. All right, now that we're all gathered in close, let's see what our hex bug does when we put him in the maze. Looks like he's taking some shortcuts. You might have to turn him around a little bit to get him going the right way. They kind of get stuck sometimes. Oh. oh, he made it to the end with a little bit of help. Here's our hex bug. I hope you enjoyed this hex bug maze. I wonder if your hex bug made it out. If you want to keep playing with it, you can make it as creative as you want. Check out our website and the St. Charles Parish Library Connected Facebook page for more digital content throughout the summer. Bye! <laughs>